Well, hello again there, webheads and comic collectors everywhere. This is your Instagram friend, fan of comic 77. Be sure to follow on YouTube as well. And today's post is on a question that I get asked a lot from new comic book hunters uh, or close friends of mine who ask me, how do I, how do they get back in? How do they get into comic collecting and where do they start? You know, where, where do they, what do they do? What, what do they collect? Because I know when you walk into an LCS, it could be intimidating. You walk in, you don't know what's going on. The, the, where, where do I do? Where do I start? And for me, well, <clears throat> my advice or my, what helped me was, see, my background is I started in, I collected in the 80s, collected in the 90s, and then stopped around the late 90s. Then one day around 2009, I popped into an LCS, and again, what does LCS stand for? That's right, local comic shop. So I popped into a local comic shop just to see, just to get a feel of the place. You know, you walk in and you see all these comic books on the wall, you know, 80 bucks, 90 bucks, variants, you know, what the heck is a variant? I don't even know what a variant was. Duh. And so I'm looking around, and one thing, that I remember as a kid that I was collecting Spider-Man at the time. So for you new comic collectors out there, if you want to start somewhere, pick your favorite character, whoever it is, Hulk, Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Man, whatever it is, pick that one character and go to dollar bins. That's right. Dollar bins. If you want to build your collection quick, dollar bins is where to go. And I'll show what I mean. So now I'm looking around and I'm going through the back issues or dollar bins and I go back to a few comics that I remember that I had when I was a kid in the 80s. Um, I had Spectacular Spidey 153 featuring Tombstone and Hammerhead. And this one was a good book. This was a good read. So I had that one as a kid and then I went to a grocery store. And back in the 80s, you know, liquor stores, grocery stores, they sold comic books, unbagged and unboarded, of course. But I found um, uh, Spectacular Spidey 155 featuring Tombstone again. And I really like this cover a lot. You guys get in there. Really like this cover of uh, Spidey shackled up and Tombstone just wailing on him. <laughs> Bam. So I started with these two in the back in the back issues, the back bins and dollar bins. So I said, okay, well, maybe I'll get Spectacular Spidey 152, Spectacular Spec Spidey 154, and Spec Spidey 156, which they had, you know, it was a dollar. So I spent three bucks, picked up three, three books. So then I went back to a different LCS and they had back issues for 50 cents. So again, if you want to build your collection quick, go that route so if you have 50 cents you have 10 bucks that's what 20 comics boom you walk in with no comics you slap 10 bucks you walk out with 20 comics so when he had this 50 cent special i put down what i walk out with i walked out with uh 40 books so i slapped a 20 20 bucks walked out with 40 books before you know it boom i had spectacular spider 40 issues spectacular spider-man within 10 minutes, five minutes. Nice. And I wasn't going for value. I was just going to build my collection. But some of the covers that were pretty cool that I got for 50 cents was uh, Spec Spidey number six, right on, right Human on. Torch and Morbius. And Morbius is a really cool character in Spider-Man world. In that same 50 cent special, I got Spec Spidey 38. <laughs> Another Morbius appearance. This one's pretty cool. So as I'm so I'm, as I'm going through my my bin hunting, fifty cents, going back to the tombstone covers, I came across Spec Spidey one thirty nine, origin of tombstone, and I will tell you, I'm a huge web webhead as we all know, but in the out of all the Spidey villains, Tombstone's probably one of my favorite characters. I know he gets ragged on a lot. But if you read his backstory and read some of the books that it's involved with Spidey, it's pretty cool. So in the same 50 cent ish bin, Spec Spidey 142, Battle on Atlanta. That was pretty cool. 
And then one that I didn't ever get when I was a kid, but it was previous to the Spec Spidey 153 that I just showed you was Spec Spidey 151. Another tombstone appearance. So boom. Going through the same 50 cent bin, I came across Spec Spidey 204, Death of Tombstone, Part 1. I look how big, look how Jack Tombstone looks. Looks like Barry Bonds and Greg Anderson put together. Just swole, huge. Same 50 cent bin was Spec Spidey 205, Death of Tombstone, Part 2. This one's pretty cool. He's got Flash Thompson in his grips. So then, after tracking down part two, I was looking for part three. So that was Spec Spidey 206. It took me for about a year of looking and looking. I couldn't find it. Till finally I came across Spec Spidey 206. Part three, conclusion. Death of Tombstone. Covered by Mr. Sal Bashima. I love this cover. Very nice. So going through my, as I'm collecting Spec Spidey, I did some research and I looked around for some key issues. And one of those famous key issues is Spec Spidey 90. Ooh. First appearance of the black suit in this title. Now, I know it could be confusing for all you new comic conners out there. How many first appearance black suits are there? Are there? Well, there's Amazing Spidey 252, there's Marvel Team Up 141, and then there's Spec Spidey 90, and of course Secret Wars 8. And what they mean by first appearance in Spec, in Spec Spidey is the first appearance in that title, in that run. So I picked that one up. So as I'm gathering my issues of Spec Spidey, my run's getting bigger, and I'm figuring, you know what? I'm trying to let me collect, see how, how early I can get into the run. Because as they get earlier, they get more expensive. But the main expensive one, well, the most expensive one out of that run is, of course, Spec Spidey number one. Ooh. This was nice. This was a Christmas gift about two years ago for my wife. That was pretty nice. So I had all these comics that I got from my LCS, a bunch of Spec Spideys, 50 cent books, you know. And I was wondering, how do I add value to my collection? So I have, I have, quanti have quantity, I got stacks of books, but not really value to my books. So I walked in to another LCS and I just asked the shop owner. Yeah. So for all you new comic hunters out there, just don't be afraid to ask. Just walk in there and just ask them a question. You know, they'll be happy to answer it. So I asked him, you know, hey, are these books worth anything? Because I'm figuring they're really old. And he's looking them up. He's like, no, these are about a buck. I'll get you know, about a buck each. And he says, if you want something that's valuable, you want to add value to your collection, get something that you think is affordable right now. So about two years ago, like I said, I walked in. And up until this point, I'm spending, you know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, maybe at the most 20 bucks on dollar bin, dollar bin books. You know, 20 bucks, 20 issues, 50 cents, 20 bucks, you get what, 40 issues? So I figure it, if I'm, if I'm spending 20 bucks, 15 bucks, maybe I'll spend 20 or 15 bucks on one issue. Because if it's 50, if, if, if it's 15 bucks now, and you wait about one or two years, that 15 bucks, boom, is going to be not 15 bucks. It's going to be more than that. So I was looking around on the wall. And he, he had a very nice one that I kept looking at for weeks and weeks. And I kept looking at it, and it was still there. And I figured, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. And it was my first issue, my first purchase, over 20 bucks. And it was Amazing Spidey, 123. Ooh, nice. Luke Cage appearance. Now, I really like this cover. Um, I would walk into the LCS and just stare at it for days because I knew I could afford it. And he even labeled it, and he put it at... 26 bucks and it was a 7.0 now of course this is just raw but most lcs owners are pretty good at grading so he said this was a 7.0 for 26 bucks so i said all right well 26 bucks and this was about like i think like what two, two years ago like i said two years ago at the time it was 26 bucks but if you look at ebay now for that same that same issue amazing spidey 123 
It's not 26 bucks anymore. It's a lot more than that. So, so my lesson that I learned was you want to add, you want to add more, <clears throat> excuse me. You want to more, add more issues to your collection. You want to build your collection dollar bins, 50 cents, you know, sometimes 25 cents, buy one, get one free, go that route. If you want to add value, get something that you can afford right now, you know, which is if it's 30 bucks, 40 bucks or 50 bucks, buy it, sit on it. And you never know that book in six months could be more than 50 bucks. So whatever you buy now is going to be more, whether in six months, it'll be more in a year. It'll be more in two years in three years. And right now, basically everything in the eighties is what's going up right now. Spidey 252, uh, Spidey 300, you know, so forth. So, er so everything from eighties, seventies, sixties and fifties, you can get your hands on it, then buy it now. Because in about a year, in a two or three or four, it's going to be worth a lot more money. And boom, you have value as well as a nice collection of books. So there you have it, Webheads. Just a little few pointers on what helped me get back into common collecting and where do you start. So go into your LCS. If you have any questions, ask the owners. They'll gladly help you out. But other than that, Webheads, as always... Be good to each other and happy hunting.